number one I have come to dance, I will dance in the middle and then I run away. How are you great tools? I hope you're okay. I am fine. It's your teacher and I'm Zeta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. We've been talking about numbers. You remember in grade one we talked about numbers? Good. We talked about numbers. Do you remember how we counted the numbers? Do you remember that numbers? We are counting 1 to 20, we are counting 1 to 10, we did 1 to 30, 1 to 40, 1 to 50, and we even wrote their names. Do you remember that? Now, this is just a review of what we did in grade 1. We are one to read and write numbers 1 to 5. How many fingers do you have on one hand? How many fingers do you have on one hand? Teacher, yes, how many fingers do you have on one hand? Let's count all of us. Put your hand in the air, we go one, two, three, four, five. So how many fingers do you have on one hand? We have five fingers. Look around our class. Look around our class. Can you see numbers? We did numbers. Starting from zero, we came to one. One like a, one like a stick. Let's draw one in the air. One again, one. Then the next number after one was two. Two like a two like a duck. Let's draw two in the air. We have a two again. A two. Number three. That is the one that follows that comes after number two. So we said three like a three like a butterfly. Three like a three like a butterfly. So let's draw number three in the air. Three. Which lines are used to make number three? The curved lines. Then we said four like a four like a chair. We said woody man, woody man, cut me down. Tingalori, tingalori, take me to the sawmill. Sawmill, sawmill, take me to the carpenter. Carpenter, carpenter, make me a chair and I sit on it. So look at number four. Number four looks like a a chair. And then we have number five. So what is our topic today? Our topic today is reading and writing numbers. One to five in words. So, Janet, we want someone to write for us the numbers. We have one. One like a stick. Then, two. Which number comes there? Three like a butterfly. Four like a chair. And then we have five. Very good. Now, which number counts? We now want to write these numbers in words. You remember how we wrote these numbers in words? Do you remember how we wrote the numbers in words? Who can spell for us the word number one? We said one is O. And E. Again, let's spell number one. O N E. Very good. Two. We go to two. Two. T W O. Let's spell number two. T W O. The next number is three. Let's spell number three. T H R E. Spell number three. T H R E E. Then four sound. You get four. F U F O U R. Very good. Then Five, five, F, I, V, E, up to there. Are you able to write numbers one to five in words and in symbols? We said this is the symbol part of it and this is the word. The symbol, the word. This symbol can also be called the figure. This symbol can also be called the figure. So if you're told, write numbers one to five in figures and in words. This is the figure or symbols and this is the word. So we are saying 
one o n e again one o n e mm -hmm. two who's gonna spell, spell for us the word two two t w o again two t w o three three we say t h r double e the word is double e that sound then we have four f o u r five f i v e so when you go home today in the evening i want you to do this small exercise i want i want, I want to give you a lot of work I only give you small exercise and this exercise you're simply going to match the number the figure and the word i have here the figure or this symbol then on the other side i have jumbled up the names in a way that you need to identify which one is which So this is the homework you're gonna to going to do at home to one, two, then we have here three. You're gonna do this homework at home with the help of your guidance. Up to there. Any question? Is there anybody who still has a problem? This is just a review of grade one work. We are not even started learning the grade two work yet. We are still doing the grade one work. Grade one we did number one. To five so we are still moving on to the other numbers so that we make sure we write all the numbers from number one to a hundred in symbols and in words with those few remarks i want to thank you all for joining out these lessons i hope to see you in the next lesson thank you